back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I'd love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today is going to be one of my intro videos for what, for my projects for 2022. I am so excited to be filming this because I cannot wait to start all of my projects again. And the first project I'm going to be introducing to my channel again is my Project 10 Uses. I loved doing this last year. I think I only did it for definitely the last few months of the year but I loved it so much because it gives me the opportunity to try new products in my collection that I haven't before. That's how I do this. I choose new products that have just been sat in my collection that I have neglected that I've been trying really really hard to stop doing and stop buying more stuff when I haven't even tried the stuff I've got some of the stuff I've got in my collection so what I will do below is I will leave the creator of this project which is Phoebe HB I'll also leave below Jaylon channel she is someone that I watch all the time she is a amazing project planner she has so many projects I have no idea how she managed to do it all but I'll leave her channel below as well because it was her that first introduced me to this project let's get into it kind of the principle behind this project is you pick products and you use them 10 times but you know it's still quite challenging it can maybe take you a couple of updates to finish products especially if you are doing other projects like I will be so I actually have chosen six products this year and I'm going to continue on each time with six until the end of the year. So starting off, the first thing I have is a primer. And this is a primer I haven't tried. I got this in a subscription box. I think it was Toil Box when I used to have that. And this is the Orizilla Beauty Dewy Glow Balm. So I'm not, I hadn't heard of this brand before. But anything that says dewy, I'm like, yes, because that is how I like to have my makeup. I like it dewy. I like to look glowy. I'm curious to see what this is like. I'm going to be using it as a primer. You can use it for skin, lips and nails. It says perfect for general use and adding a dewy glow to your makeup. I like to use products like this underneath my foundation to give me that extra glow. So that will be the first product I'm going to be introducing to this project. I don't know whether I'll have the 10 uses by next update, but I think the update after that, I think I should be, this should be done because I am going to be introducing primers to some of my other projects. The next thing I'm going to be introducing is something really reflective, so I am sorry. And it is this from Charlotte Tilbury. So I have used this. I used it once before when I did a... I was going to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. So I have used this one, but just not enough to know whether I want I like it or not. So I thought I would put it in this project. You'll have to ignore. You can see I've used it. So this is a colour corrector. And I bought this because... Jessica Braun, who I watch, she raves about this product and the Bobbi Brown one and I thought, well I love Charlotte Tilbury so I want to try this product. When I first tried it, I wasn't wowed by it so that's why I want to see what I think. I got it in one fair because I am super pale. This wasn't cheap, I mean nothing for Charlotte Tilbury is cheap, but I want to see what I think to this, whether it's something I want to keep or not. This is perfect for me as well. This is what's great about this project is I also get the chance to see whether it's something I want to keep in my collection or pass along to family and friends. I have so much makeup that if it's not something I'm enjoying, there is no point in keeping it. I am not doing that anymore because I used to do that all the time and I'm not doing it anymore. I want products in my collection that I love. So... I'm going to try this. I will most probably use another concealer on top because this is a colour corrector. But I think it is definitely a colour corrector, isn't it? That's how I'm using it anyway. <laughs> and then I put another concealer on top. I think I should have this out by next update, I think. Because if I'm going to be using this underneath a concealer, I should be able to get 10 uses, I would think. But let's see. The next thing I'm going to be introducing is this from Laura Geller. And this is a baked highlighter in French Vanilla. So I think I'm actually going to try and use this as a powder to begin with. Because you can use it as a powder if you want to. Because it's meant to add a glow. I got rid of the box. But I think they did say that you can use it for that for like an all over glow. I'm going to see if I like it that way. And then if not, try it as a highlight. So I think I might maybe use it like five uses as a powder maybe less if I don't like it and then maybe the five uses a highlight just to see what I actually like it as whether I like it as a powder more than a highlight or the other way around I haven't tried much from Laura Geller so I 
I'm looking forward to trying this. I don't know whether I'll have this done, you know, my 10 use is done by next update because I am also trying to finish a powder outside of like any projects or anything, but I might, you know, swap it up a little bit and try this as well. So I'm not sure, but we will just see. The next thing I have is a blush. So I am trying really, really, really hard to use some blushes in my collection this year because I have quite a few blushes that I haven't tried before or I might have tried once and don't know how I feel about them and they're just sat there so I'm going to try and make more of a conscious effort to try and use like my bronzers, blushes and highlights see where we go from there. So this one is one I got I think in a glossy box. It is the Downtown Paris, I'm assuming that's what it's meant to say. This is a cream blush. I don't know how I feel about cream blushes. I love the Fenty Beauty ones but ones in tubes like this, I just, I'm not sure. So I have squeezed out the colour on it before and it's like a dark red colour. So, <laughs> so we'll see how that looks on my cheeks. Because this is a cream product, I'll do it before my powder and then after my powder and see whether it makes a difference. Because sometimes I find with cream products that if I put it under my powder and put my powder on, I don't know, for some reason it just seems to like not make it as defined. So then I have to put a powder blush on top. So we'll see how I feel about this. Not a brand I've tried before. We'll just see, I don't know. This might be in for a while, this might be done. I, I'm not sure. I think the th thing with the intro video is I'm not really sure <laughs> how long all this stuff is gonna take me to use up 10 times. But we'll just, we'll just see. The next thing is a highlight and the packaging on this highlight is beautiful. So this is a Revolution Glow Highlight and this is in Lustre. So I think this is meant to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. Which I haven't got. I've wanted, I've really, really wanted that. And it is limited edition, but I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I want it. I do really, really, really want it but I don't need it. This is meant, I think this looks to be like, surely this has to be a dupe for it. I mean, the color looks beautiful. The highlight is the size of my head. Will I ever finish this highlight? I don't know. <laughs> I bought it last year and I haven't even used it yet. It's just been sat there. So it's too pretty to be sat, just sat there. So I'm gonna try it out and see what I think. And then last but no means least, I have a lip product and it's by Luna by Luna and it is in Pixie. So we got this in a glossy box and this is actually what I'm wearing. I just really wanted to try it out and see what I thought. Um, it's a really, really pretty color, but what I will say is it's quite drying. It's not, not the best quality lipstick let's just say that but it's a really really pretty color and i've only used it once so it's you know i've not used it a huge amount of times but that once will actually <laughs> be part of this project not i'm not sure whether this will be something i will keep in my collection after i've used it 10 times just from my first impression if i'm honest but we'll just see we'll just see what i think of it again not a brand i'd heard of before but that is that so that is all of my six products for my my project 10 uses i am really excited to be starting project planning again because after my finale video i had a bit of a break and i was just using whatever i wanted in my collection and as nice as that is i do like to have products i can focus on and try and finish them or at least use them 10 times to see what i think so i hope you enjoyed this intro video what i think i might do going forward rather than me going into my collection and choosing the products myself I might randomly generate some numbers like create a spreadsheet full of all products I haven't tried and then generate numbers I don't know yet because I do like to also have the option to choose I can't decide what I want to do I can't decide whether I want to choose the products or randomly generate them we'll see we'll see in the next update what I feel like doing <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. And until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.